Welcome back guys, Final Fantasy 16's playable demo is now available on Steam Store. Game will be officially released on 17 September 2024. In this video, I'll be testing the demo on my ROG LA running on Windows and Steam Deck running on SteamOS. This game officially supports FSR3 frame generation. It doesn't support FSR3.1. You cannot use XCSS or DLSS upscaler in conjunction with frame generation. I have already done my testing. Game is definitely playable on ROG LA but suffers from performance issues on Steam Deck. FPS often drops down to as low as 20 in demanding areas. First, I'll test the game on Ally. For this game, I've set the UMA buffer size to Auto. Helps in reducing the stuttering. My Ally is running on the latest official GPU driver. BIOS version 3.3.9. 25W manual profile, all 3 power values set at 25W. 720p resolution CPU boost disabled. This game is very demanding on the GPU. Connected Mac Bully Kit. GK3 Max Gamepad to Ally via Bluetooth mode. Play. I'll just test the game in demanding areas. Show you one boss battle as well. Adrenaline in settings. Free sync enable. V sync enable, that's it. Using a custom afterburn overlay to show you the performance metrics. In game settings. Upscaler FSR3. XSS version 1.3 upscaler is also supported. Using the quality preset of FSR3, sharpness level maxed out, frame generation disabled for the time being, motion blur disabled, vignette and chromatic abrasion also disabled using the low preset, everything set to low, these effects have been disabled. Display mode full screen, resolution 720p refresh rate 120Hz, vsync off, this is the castle area, very demanding on the GPU you can see. Hitting the GP bottom line, FPS 33. See, I'll just explore the area on foot. Keep an eye on the FPS counter. Good thing FPS did not drop below 30. 30 to 40 FPS. This means when I enable frame generation, FPS should be close to 60. Can observe the sluggishness. We are out of Alice VRR range, that is 48 to 120 hertz. Yeah, 30 to 40 FPS. Now I'll enable frame generation. Just open the graphics settings. Enable frame generation from here. Resume the game. Keep an eye on the FPS counter. Yeah, FPS increased to around 75. Can observe the added amount of smoothness. See, that sluggishness is gone now. 60 to 70 FPS. Frame generation tries to double the base FPS. In games hard elements are not flickering just roam around close to 60 fps cutscenes in this game are capped at 30 fps a few frame drops occur when cutscenes are playing, I'll show you that. Cutscene. See, FPS suddenly dropped down to 25. Now we are getting 30 FPS. This is a problem. Some coasting around the apple. Variable FPS again. So this issue needs to be fixed. Skip the cutscene. Back to the game. What's going on here? Food. They are cooking food. Input delay is not a problem. You can definitely play the game with frame generation enabled on ROG LA. It's not a first person shooter. You can greet the kid if you want. I'll just enter the castle. Oh, it's beautiful. Child is the future of 
need to apply some post <laughs> open the door okay now i load the next area thick foliage here but this area is less demanding than the previous area castle one we'll be fighting against some goblins 73 fps image quality looks sharp even when the game is running at 720p resolution fsr 3 upscalers quality preset see it's entirely up to you you can increase the resolution to 900p at the cost of performance crowds through here cutscene see fps dropped down to 30 use phoenix shift and use spam abilities smooth performance even during combat go through here looking for confidence there they are Load the enemies. Now drop some stuff upon dying. <laughs> Take that goblin. Dodge. Just need to press the R1 key right before the enemies attack land. Okay, now I'll show you a boss battle. Here is the boss. Lock onto our enemy by pressing the L1 key. I'll keep dodging around it. Bad breath. Enemies attack. Stagger the enemy. FPS here is within a range of 64 to 76 not bad at all game is running smoothly not hitching at all definitely playable on ally yeah we staggered the enemy I'm spamming my attacks it's back up disappeared there it is we're getting sucked towards it 40 FPS here, it's just a cutscene. Perform a cinematic strike. Press the key when it appears on the screen. Like this. Again, it's staggered. Half of its HP is down. Circling around it. Sixty again. Here it is. Sucking us again. Cinematic evasion. Need to press the R1 key when the screen flashes red like this. It got staggered. So 60 to 80 FPS on ROG ally with frame generation enabled for the most part. Hitching was not a problem. 
Oh no, fail to wait the attack. Now I'll be testing the game on my Steam Deck. Okay, this creature is still alive. What is it doing? Staggered. Let me just finish off the creature. There you go. My Steam Deck is running on SteamOS version 3.6.9 beta build using G-Proton version 9-11 as the compatibility layer. Connected my Cosmic White Stellaris gamepad to Deck via Bluetooth mode. Performance tab. Only level set to 2. Frame limit set to 60. That's it. This is the LCD variant of Steam Deck. In-game settings. Upscaler set to FSR 3. Using its performance preset, sharpness level maxed out, frame generation disabled for the time being. All of the effects have been disabled using the low preset. Display mode set to full screen, resolution 800p. Refresh at 60hz, vsync off. There is a character. Okay, in the castle area, FPS is close to 25, we are not hitting 30 FPS. Almost hitting the GPU bottleneck, this area is demanding on both CPU and GPU. I'm just exploring the area. 20 to 25 FPS. Very choppy gameplay. Yeah, 30 FPS is not possible here. And this is when I'm using FSR 3's performance preset. Let's enable frame generation now. Oh my god. On. Back to the game. Okay, it seems frame generation is not working properly. I have seen this bug before. In Ghost of Tsushima, you need to enable manual GPU clock. Oh my god. And just go to the performance tab. Enable manual GPU clock. Set the clock speed to 1600 MHz. Now the game should be working properly. Better than before, but still the performance is on the lower side. 33 FPS? Almost as if FSR frame generation is doing nothing. And this game is just too much for Steam Deck's processor. Frame generation can't do much here. I'll just disable it. Gameplay is still choppy. Off. I disable the GPU clock as well. Now I'll load the forest area. Here we are getting around 30 FPS. I'll just cap the FPS to 30. Show you some combat. I'm observing a few hitches even here. Yeah, 26 FPS. Cutscene. FPS dropped down to around 22. 20. Just skip it. Blast these goblins. I was not expecting that yes, yes, during combat. Constant etching is present during exploration. Next wave. Here I'm observing a few hitches. Twenty-seven to thirty FPS. 
were not impressed by the performance on Steam Deck. I hope the game's performance improves via future updates. This is just a demo. Official build is not available yet. So that's it for the video guys. I hope you find it useful. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.